Welcome back to the Fort Johnson Podcast, your go-to source for everything happening on post and beyond. I'm your host, and we're here to keep you informed, inspired, and connected to our incredible Fort Johnson community. Today, we're diving into a topic near and dear to the heart of our military families, spouse employment. Finding meaningful work can be one of the biggest challenges for military spouses, but at Fort Johnson, the Spouse Employment Program is here to help. We'll talk about the resources available to the success stories and how this program is making a real difference in our community. So whether you're a spouse seeking new opportunities, a service member wanting to support your partner's goals, or simply someone curious about how we're empowering our families, this episode's for you. Stay tuned as we chat with our special guest from Spouse Employment Program, who will share insights and tips to help su- help you succeed. Let's get started. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you are watching our podcast, I am Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office, and we're here in the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Podcast Studio. And with me today, I have a very special guest from the uh, Spouse Employment Program over at ACS, Building 920. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> Stacy Delgado, how are you doing? I'm glad to have you back here. I am doing wonderful. It's tomorrow's Turkey Day. I'm excited about that. Well, I'm sure it, it'll be uh, Digestion Day by the time people get to see our, <laughs> our lovely program. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the spousal program, you, that's not the only program that you're in charge of, though, right? I mean, you have you you are just a busy, busy, busy person well, over there. I help out. I'm, you know, a team player. I'm always helping out my coworkers and the other eight, the other uh, programs in ACS. So I do have a lot of knowledge about ACS programs. Uh, I've been with them for 24 years. That's a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm catching up on you, though. I'm, I'm at officially at 19 years. Oh, very good. 19 years with this office. Oh, I have not nice. changed my job in in 19 years. 19 years. Oh. Ah, try, to, try to put up with me for that long. <laughs> well, you know, if you decide in this last year that you want a change in your career, you know exactly who to come see. I do. You helped me with, uh, you helped me with all kinds of things. And uh, yeah, she, she's a really good person. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> So, uh, for the holiday seasons, you got anything special going on for the uh, for uh, the spouse employment program? Not necessarily for the month of December, but we have had a lot of great changes uh, for empowering military spouses in their career paths Ooh. Um, over the last year in 2024, 2023. Um, so, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of those changes, but I also wanted to talk about what we do in spouse employment well actually absolutely the um the spouse employment program is so good at fort johnson that sometimes i think it's unfair it's like dang you guys are so good how you get a step up like it's like wait a minute i was really qualified but the spouse gets it instead because the spouse program is that important huh it is um the department of defense the government period has really seen that military spouses have a lot to offer we have educations we have um, a lot of experience and um I think that those PCS moves helps us to understand how we have to change on the fly, okay? Um, So we have a lot to offer, just that spouses don't know how to get into the system um, and what the benefits of being in the federal system is. Um, So I actually help with that. Um, I have a federal application, federal resume class that I teach. Um, We have one on the 19th of December. It's a day class. It's from 10 to 1130. Um, They can register through my email, which we will provide at the end of the podcast. Yeah, I think it it, it should end with army.mil, right? It's probably civ at army.mil. Correct. Something. And I'm sure your name's in there somewhere. Somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But they can register for the class. And um, what I provide is an overview on how the federal application goes. Um, A book 
that has templates for the resumes in it. Um, I go over the questionnaire. I talk about how to interview for these, getting you ready for those interviews. That's what I need is help with the interview because on paper I look good, but don't talk to me. (laughs) It's like, so why do you want to work for us? Oh, I don't know. (laughs) Well, I also bring up the fact is why do you work here? Oh, oh. Why, do, why do I work here? No, why do the people that are interviewing work there? What made them decide to stay with that agency? Oh, that's good a good question. Point. Huh? Am I allowed to ask questions yeah, during an interview? You are. And then the last one is if I was selected, could you show me where I'd be working? Ooh. Yeah, yeah just show me the beach. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can name several <laughs> installations with beaches, like like uh, there's one in Tampa, there's one in Cocoa Beach, there's one in, in Orlando. Oh, no, Orlando don't have a beach. Orlando's inside. They do too. That's Disney. The, I know, but that's not, well, that don't count as a beach. <laughs> but that would be nice working at uh, Green Acres. Or no, Green. I always call it Green Acres. It's uh, shades of green. Oh, shades I of green. Do that. I could that would be that. nice. Yeah. That's a NAF job. Yeah, I want to just, I want to, I actually would love to just, uh, you know, for my retirement job, sell pretzels at Disney World. So you could do that at any, you could jump over from the GS side of the house into the NAF side of the house and do another 20. Ooh, and get three retirements. Uh huh. Nice. I know. If I would have known what I know right now at the age of 19, I'd be retired twice. Ah. Uh. I know, but I didn't. Because there wasn't a me. No. Nope. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I mean, <clears throat> okay, we'll, we'll move on from that one. <laughs> so um, we go over your career path. If you've never had a personality test done where it matches your personality to a career path, it's really important that you do that because you want joy in your job. And so I can provide those um, through uh, Career One Stop. It's 30 questions. It's like super easy. And then we can go over your, all of your answers and all of the different career paths that you can go down. I had a spouse about a year ago, and she had just graduated with her bachelor's in psychology. And she was like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> And I said, well, it's kind of broad. And so we got to kind of let's narrow this down in the field so that we can find out where you want to go with this. You spent a lot of money on, your, on an education, so we want to use it. So she took this personality test, found out that there was a play therapy and art therapy that was part of her career paths. And I was like, huh, okay. I said, have you ever thought about being an ABA tech? for behavioral, for children with be, with um, disabilities or they ha- are special needs. And um, she said, no, what is this? So we went over it. I showed her. It was a 40-hour class that she took online, and now she's an ABA tech. Yeah, so so uh, what do you do for a living? I finger paint. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be, right? Um, but... These are things that I can do, and I can help you. We talk a lot. We go through a lot of different areas. Well, you've seen, you've you've known me for a while, so you know my personality. Uh, what career field should I be uh, with with a personality like mine? I think you should be a sports broadcaster. I don't even like sports. I know, but you would be good at it. <laughs> I could probably do um, golf. It's like, he's queuing up to the team, uh, or the tee. Uh, he's, so what's this? Uh, he's going to be having a, so it's a quiet on the green. And <laughs> <laughs> but I think he would also be a really good teacher. Oh, me? Yeah. No, 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 no. For, I can't, I can't teach. Yeah. I don't even know how to teach. I think you I tried be. teaching. It's like, it, just do it this way. And I end up doing it for him. <laughs> <laughs> can't do that. So. I also help with education. Um, Maybe they want to start school after we figured out what their career path is. I can help them 
understanding the MyCAA process, um, which is a $4,000 scholarship for military spouses, um, $2,000 per year, and it's found on Military One Source. They can go in and find a school that they want to attend, but I can also show them a lot of other different scholarships that they can get. Um, a lot of people don't know about the AER scholarship, and um, so a lot of people don't apply to it. There's a lot of uh, scholarships and grants that people don't know about, and it's sometimes they even go un, un uh, awarded. Correct. Uh, it's like, well, if I would have been the only one applying, I could have gotten it. That's how I. That's how I win competitions. See, it's like I'm the only one, so I'm guaranteed at least third place. <laughs> at least. <laughs> um, I also help with civilian resumes and plus the federal um, interviewing. I do a lot of interviewing. Yeah, that's that's my weakness. And we, one of the biggest things is being prepared for a job fair. And so when you talk to somebody that has never worked a job fair, never gone in, they've just applied online, them going and speaking to an employer face-to-face -face, it can be terrifying. And so I have a pre-job fair workshop. Ooh. And we go over your elevator speeches, how to dress for success, getting your resume ready for it, a lot. Even handshakes. People don't know how to shake hands anymore. Oh, I, I, I watch. I watch how uh, the, uh, the president-elect shakes hands and he, he, he shakes hands differently with each person and there are certain power moves that he does and it, like hand placement and pull you in or reach out and break your hand. And, uh. right. <laughs> so if you're not used to working a job fair and which a lot of our job fairs, especially MWR, they are probably our best employer that we have on the installation for military spouses. Yeah, MWR is great. Yeah, they, they have great um, jobs available for military spouses, and they have a seat program that um, if you work for MWR for over 90 days, when your sponsor PCSs to the next duty station, your job PCSs with you. So me, again, growing up, going up, in the military, if I would have known this. You could have been retired twice. Right. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't have had to have looked for another job every time that we PCS'd. And I think that's one of the biggest stressors for military spouses. Yeah. Is having to land somewhere and then start the job search. And it can be very stressful, especially if you're putting kids in school and trying to, you know, and if your sponsor works out in the box, so their hours fluctuate. So now you're doing a whole bunch of other stuff. And well, yeah, it gets stressful. I, get I bet. It. Yep. I've, I did over 20 years of, uh, of military and uh, luckily I never had to worry about uh, a spouse or, uh, you know, that kind of thing to, that would have just piled it on. But, you know, having, if your, if your spouse is taken care of, at least on one side, the, the job side, that's, that takes a lot of stress off of uh, the family and, and a lot less arguments when there's no stress. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I do three job fairs a year or a quarter, every quarter. I When's your next one? It is in February on the 25th. You got plenty of time to get over to Stacy and and prep and get your resume, get your handshakes, get your interview tactics down for February, and I'll have her back on before then to remind everybody. Well, we they, you know MWR does on the spot interviews, and Ooh. they can do on the spot tentative offers, so you have to be prepared to do that interview, and so that's another thing that we go over in that job prep. Now, uh, it's, this is specific. When you say spouse, uh, this just popped in my head. Uh, when you say spouse, that is specifically for just the spouse. It, it, or can it, or can, uh, like family members, uh, you know, an older adult or an older child uh, of, the, um, of the family, can they go to these uh, job fairs or is it specifically just for the spouses? No, it's open to all. The whole community. That's good. Um, and so, but in the month of military child in April, I do a teen program that I do on a Saturday. And it is 
from 10 until 1. This year, we're bringing in financial readiness to teach them about how <coughs> um, to be financially responsible with the money that they're earning. Nice. That's. Uh, I have a feeling that um, I might send somebody down to see you uh, on that one <laughs> over here. <laughs> Cause uh, you know I've got I've got some well a lot of people have teenagers that uh, just they're they're used to either there there's two people they are, they're either used to having money or used to not having money and it's never their money it's, like, it's always somebody Our else's money <laughs> so um, with those you know we have the job fairs the resume building interviewing but let's get down to a really good program that we have here on Fort Johnson what's that the forging new leaders <gasps> ooh i just got an email about something like that so this is open to military spouses and why is this beneficial i don't know you tell me okay so <laughs> it explains how garrison works Okay, it talks about how our money is, learning how to publicly speak. It also teaches you how to write like the government. In the, uh, well, the, the Air Force has the um, pen and quill is a book that shows all the military writing for Air Force. Uh, I don't know how well it translates over to uh, the Army, but that's where... We have our own regulations, the, AR 25-50. AR 25-50. <laughs> Uh, I'll get right into that one. <laughs> but it also provides you networking. Networking. That's the all so, important thing. That is. And um, if they want to register or more information, they can contact me. It does start in January. So we're kind of at a about a month out. So they need to get busy on this if they're, they're interested. But it's going to really help for them if they go through the Forging New Leaders program and they're going to learn a lot about how the government works. And how long is this uh, program? Ten months. Ten, ten months? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, a, that's well, an intense program. It is, and they go over a bunch. And what they're do, they are given a project that they will eventually um, brief to the garrison commander. And so... Again, this is where they learn how to public speak and to speak to leadership and how to present to leadership those skills that when we first come in to the civilian workforce, we're not real sure about. Nope. <laughs> not even not even a little. <laughs> <laughs> I think this should be a prerequisite to anybody coming into civil service. That would be uh that would be quite the 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 introduction. It would be. Exactly. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> but uh so you've got the Forging New Leaders program and it's 10 months along um so they do about one a year. Or yes. so, or is it more? Just one year. And how many people are allowed into this program? Well, it's open to the DOD civilians and NAF. Um, it is now open to military spouses. We had four last year and two completed it. Um, so it's gained, you know, the four were, it was just brand new. So I think that we're gaining momentum on getting other military spouses into the program. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, now would there be now is that there's a civilian education system, the CES that uh, the GS uh, employees know about. Is this similar to that uh, kind of like baseline introduction kind of thing? Or from here, do they move on to other programs or other um, education training it's, benefits? Well, if you're a DOD civilian, you know that you have to take the foundation, the basic, and then intermediate and above, okay? Um, this will give you kind of a taste. Um, as a DOD civilian, to get into this, you have to at least have finished your basic. Gotcha. Um, but the spouse requirement for this is you don't have to. If they send me an email, which again, we'll put at the end of the podcast. But We're getting closer to it. Stacy.r.delgado.civ <laughs> at army.mil. Gotcha. Oh, you got me? Okay. We'll, we'll put it up. But um, they can send me an email that they're interested in this program 
and I can email them the application. They fill it out, send it back, and I will upload it into the system. Okay. So you'll put it into the system. I will. All right. <laughs> Sorry, something popped up on my computer. I had to get rid of it or the computer would stop. So uh, the uh, so we have the Forging New Leaders, and that is, um, when does that take place? It starts in um, January. January. Oh, that's coming up quick. It's coming up quick. And then in February, you have... My job fair. The job fair. But I have the class in December on the 19th for the federal application process. Oh, that's right around the corner. It is. All right. It's right around the corner. So how do you, and just email you to get into that class also. So basically um, everything is just contact you, email you. Um, I'm we can sit one-on-one. -on -one. If you email me, we'll make an appointment. We'll sit one-on-one. -on -one. We can go over a whole bunch of things. Um, my demographics is a little broad. So I can work with active duty. I can work with military spouses, their family members, even adult, um, you know, family members that are looking. I do have a lot of service members that bring their parents that have come to help out um, and they want to work part time. So they come see me and I help them out. Nice. Yeah. So uh, DOD civilians can come see me as well, um, as well as NAF employees and um, retirees, their families. Now, can you help people get a NAF job also? Yes, sir. Oh, so it's NAF, uh, GS. Yes. Civilian. Uh, WG. I've been S here. SES. I want an SES job. I want an SES 15. Ooh, yeah. That's a lot of money. I know. <laughs> and everybody knows that the higher you go, the less work you do. <laughs> you delegate. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, uh, I also work with a lot of the employers outside the gates. So I have recently been going to a lot of the Louisiana Workforce Commission, their job fairs, and touching base with employers to bring employers here that are around our local area. A lot of times I can pick up a phone and call an employer and say, hey, do you have any open positions, especially if somebody's been having a really hard time looking for a job? So um, I do have a Facebook page. Ooh, mm -hmm. is it at facebook.com? It is. <gasps> there you go. I won't even put that one up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's under uh, the JRTC and Fort Johnson ACS. And if you look under the groups, you'll find the employment readiness. And I post jobs on there as well. So oh, nice. I'm in USA Jobs. I'm in um, the Louisiana workforce. I, I'm looking in vetted job sites like indeed no <laughs> no okay <laughs> <laughs> linkedin i see a lot of linkedin now Correct. it's like i don't I know why that's getting so LinkedIn. popular um but i i stay within our local area and i find jobs that i can post on there i also post upcoming events and things like that so well that's good maybe i could get you on the events calendar who knows i'll, I'll look into it I'll see if I, I can help you, you out. Can. Also, Jeff has been really, really instrumental in putting together my web page. I'm trying. <laughs> you keep sending me stuff. It's like, where does this go? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is this updated? <laughs> no, she has a lot of information on there. It's like, oh, man, more and more. <laughs> so it's under the JRTC Fort Johnson. Yep. Home.army.mil slash Johnson. And it is under spouse employment. And so all of the new initiatives and things that spouses need to know are up and under there. Nice. And the, uh, what, uh, so we've got everything on the homepage, which is the home.army.mil, uh, everything under the Facebook page, mm -hmm. everything under, well, I'm sure there's some, is there anything on the MWR page? My, my Contact information. Yeah, my contact information. Also, um, any of my classes and registration things. Do you have like flyers and, and information at over ACS. at ACS Building 920 on Bell Richard? I'm Bell Richard. <laughs> Bell Richard. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, there's no there is no excuse to not be able to find her. 
And every once in a while, we can find you over at the PX, the food court, and having lunch or... Well, that, and in the PX, and in the commissary, I always have business cards, um, so you can stop me and say, hey, I saw you on the podcast, can I get your business card? That would be so cool, it's like, hey. <laughs> like, I'd be like, ooh, I'm famous. She's a, she's a podcast star, she's a social, social media star. Oh, yay. <laughs> um, but I also do outreach, so I go to the PX, and I will set up a table, and I will have my flyers and information. So if you're in one of the places over there and you want to know about what I do, you can just stop and talk to me and I'd be more than happy to discuss anything. Excellent. Excellent. And uh, so what if if we were to settle it down to the, the three biggest things that you want to let everybody know about or how to do or something like that, what would your uh, biggest, the three biggest things about your program be right now? The federal? The federal what? Application. Just the federal jobs. Just because it is so much easier to transfer, it's a portable career for military spouses and how to do it. Oh, that's that MWR thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're in your, see, I'm, I'm paying attention. So, so if you're, if you work for MWR and you've worked there for at least 90 days uh, and when you PCS, your job PCS is with you. So you'll have a job over there. Now, does the 90 days start over or can you just, it, well, as long as you keep your job, it, it goes with you to the next. And there's room for growth. A lot of people don't understand that that room for growth. So you may go in at entry level and within a few years, you're up in management. So you just have to realize that there's room for growth and if you're a military spouse and you, this way you're not starting over every single time yeah. PCS. Now does MWR have, MWR is a, they both have GS and uh, NAF or is it just NAF? Just NAF. It's all 100% NAF. And it's in every branch of the service. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is. So <laughs> if you're on a joint base, then you would be able to go. To Navy and to Army Navy. and Air, Air Force, Force and Marines. Correct. Just like the commissary, defense commissary. Nice. So, again, working for the commissary is a portable career because there is a commissary on every single installation. Yeah. But there's not a PX or BX on every installation. No. It's Sometimes small. they have, yeah, it's a, it could be NEX. Well, they have. Yeah, that's the Navy. NEX. Yes. yes. They and can't have the Army Air Force Exchange Service on uh, Navy. Navy. No. <laughs> yeah, but it's still. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. So we got, uh, um, okay, so there's a lot of jobs. Well, NAF has a wonderful retirement uh, program also. Right. So I've heard sometimes that's that's better than GS if you do it right. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, and then you've got usajobs.gov, usajobs.gov. Um, do you have any tips on searching for uh, positions on that? Because every time, you know, I can look up something for Fort Johnson and I get like 150 different openings and it's like, none of them are for Fort Johnson. It's like a worldwide, uh, remote, <laughs> uh, uh, here's this one for FAA. It's like, wait a minute, FAA. Wait, wait, no, wait. wait, that's not here. So, so do you have tips on how to do I that? I do. Um, and the tip is to come to my class because I'll show you how to do that. Oh, you're just a one-stop shop. You'll, so, you'll show them everything. Now come January, um, I will be doing two classes a month. I do a day class and then an evening class. So I provide that evening class for people that work that may want to come to the class and learn how to get into the federal system. And then you and I are supposed to start doing little short videos on all these little snippets that we're just talking about. Well, you know how I like to get snippy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, hey, there's a, there's a sneak preview. There's a teaser about we're going to get some, some snort, snort snippets, snort, snort snippets. snippets. <laughs> um, and two, forging new leaders. Forging new leaders. Really pushing this out because this is a great opportunity for military spouses. And third, they can come see me. And see, I think that's the easiest. Yeah, let's just talk. 
Let's sit down and have, I have a coffee machine in my office. You can have a cup of coffee with me and we'll sit and chat about what you want to do. What I want to do. I want to retire and enjoy life. And Three and a half years. Three yeah. and a half years. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, Stacy, I appreciate you coming in. It has been wonderful seeing you again. And uh, I'm sure we'll get, uh, we'll get to see you again shortly, maybe in January or February. Part two. Part Part two. Yeah. Part two. It's cause oh, is, just can't get rid of her. Part do. <laughs> part do. Yeah. Hot shots. <laughs> Somebody finally getting my uh, movie references. Sweet. <laughs> Stacy Delgado, ACS uh, spouse employment program. I appreciate you coming in and, uh, I, I really enjoy speaking with you and I hope, uh, I hope everyone out there got a little something today. I do too. I and, do too. And I hope you had a, a very, very happy Thanksgiving and don't eat too much. Are you and, cooking? Uh, no, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I might. <laughs> you never know. I'm a good cook sometimes. <laughs> I can really heat up those, uh, those uh, bags of popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> See, I don't burn them anymore. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> Stacy, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I'm Jeff England from the Fort Johnson Public Affairs Office. And if you would like to... Uh, Talk to Stacy, please uh, email her at stacy.r.delgado.siv at army.mil. Um, and otherwise, please hit notify, hit subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, please let us know in the comments if, uh, if you have used the spouse employment program and it helped out, or if you'd like to uh, see something specific on our program, I'm sure I could probably get a hold of somebody to get them to our studio and get them on the air. And uh, But until then, hey, be safe out there and we'll be watching and listening at you later. That was easy.